Hello, welcome to another day with Prini. Today, I'm starting like a two weeks mini stepper challenge. I'm challenging myself to use the mini stepper minimum 15 minutes. So you'll be seeing more, maybe some 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Let me see in two weeks. Let me see the impact of the mini stepper in my body. Let me see all the body, what it will do, how it will tone my legs, my arm. So for two weeks, back to back, I'm doing a mini stepper challenge. Today is my first time I'm going this long to like 16 minutes, 30 seconds. It was not easy. Because the time I was feeling it on my legs, on my arm, arms. And you know, it's very good to hold a dumbbell. It might not be a big one, but hold something so you'll be moving the hand. So because this uh, mini step I has to do with the whole body because moving my hand moving the body it's every part of the body is toning so i'm trying this challenge to see what i can achieve with my body in this mini stepper mini stepper is a life changer i won't lie it's really impactful it tones the leg up when you use it and come down you feel your tone your towels and your hips your legs toning you feel it and with my hand, I'm trying to do it with my hands. So I'm already feeling it in my hand also. So please watch me. Don't go away. Challenge yourself equally. You know, sometimes in life with that. When you get to a particular stage in life and you believe that you need, you have a challenge, you have a problem. You tag people who are in the same problem issues with you. It helps you. Like in life, when you are maybe you know you have a challenge or in that's why you go to therapy therapy is a place that you stay in the same category with people who are having that challenge with you so they we all motivate ourselves so in this weight loss as much as possible get your own mini step and let's all challenge ourselves into it doing this for our good health for long life for healthy living because health is wealth once you have life there's nothing you cannot achieve nothing is too late once your health is intact like three weeks ago, I had this, I've never had it before. I had this uh, mouth injury. I don't know where it came from. But I just noticed that I still had injury in my mouth. I just noticed that my mouth started pinning me. I woke up. It was not funny. I could not eat. Eating was a problem. And it was so painful. I was like, what's causing it? I went to the internet, I googled, I checked everything. The home and imbalance. I was trying to figure out. I went to the dentist. They just said I, I should be googling warm water, like to go there is an infection. Where is infection from? What caused it? I was so restless. You know, from the first day, the second day, the third day, I kept on reading everything. I read. They said stop eating anything hot. Because first time I thought it was hot, I was taking hot things. They said to make it not good. I had to take everything to cold. I was taking more of yogurt. I was taking yogurts and everything. Taking only cold things. Then the unfortunate funny thing, I be, I had cough and cutter. With that injury, I had cough and cutter, and they said don't take anything hot. So how do you combine the injury in your mouth? Where I was trying to take only hot things for the cough to go, for the cutter to go, then with injury. So it was just really a very complicated time for me because it was just complicating everything. My nose will be blocked. I'll be coughing. I can't take hot things because the injury. The more you take hot things, the injury will not go. I'll just sit down, I'll be crying. I'll just be very angry. I'll just be uncomf uncomfortable. I was not imagining people that are sick going through many more diseases that are so severe just for that three weeks. Okay, if every day I'll wake up, I'll check my mouth, I'll use video, I'll video my tongue, I'll video my mouth because it was on the upper part. I'll check it, I'll look at it, I'll check whether it's going. The discomfort was not just here. Then with the cough, the kata, I was taking cold things on top of the cough and kata, and the cough and kata was not even going. And with the injury at the other side, so it was just very frustrating. I was feeling so bad. Then that time I started thinking about people that were in worst conditions. I just wondered how do they cope? Just this one that happened to me, this this little discomfort. I know how bad I felt. I started feeling very depressive because I'll sit down. I'll be feeling very bad. I want to be thinking how about people that are in worse conditions. How do they cope? So, but in everything I go, I I put my energy thinking about my sport, thinking of all the dreams I have for 2024. Nothing will stop me from achieving my body goals. Nothing will stop me going back to my dreams. 
I told myself not to stop me from all these things. So that's one thing about like that. You notice that once you have the health, that's the most important thing you should all fight for. Then, um, then when by the second week they say that by it takes like two or three weeks. By the second week, um, first day, second day, fourth day, fifth day, then after the first week, by the second week I noticed that my mouth was getting better. The injury was getting smaller. I was getting relieved and I was getting happy. Then by the third week, I noticed that everything was gone. Then I just started eating again. And I was like, wow. Then after it was gone, I now could be able to start treating for the cup and kata. Then by then, the cup and kata was even... The cup and kata did not even have choice because when they saw that I was not even treating it, I was taking everything cold. It did not have a choice. It had to start going on its own. So that's one thing about having life, having um, health, when you're healthy, you can see. But that time, it deprived me for a lot because I was not happy. I was feeling very depressive because of that injury in my mouth so and it took me back to thinking about people that have gone through a lot people in having cancer going through chemo but they still have faith people that are diabetic people a lot of sicknesses around and you see those people still smiling those people are really heroes because with this ailment and they are still strong and smiling i give them kudos i give them thumbs up they are really they are really they are they are they are just the person going through a phase in life and they are still very strong this um going back to this mini stepper it's not an easy one i was sweating my hands were paining me my wrist was paining me my back was paining me it's all in the process maybe by tomorrow and next when i start doing it my body starts adjusting mind you i do only five minutes before more five minutes i go break take another but today is the first time i'm doing a 16 minutes 30 minutes video stand on the stepper just do it alone I just put that determination and please join me in this determination. Let's see where we can all do it. You know, in life. So, and I'm told you about. So, doing this my weight loss journey, like before, I follow I follow a lot of food vendors online. I watch food, but now I say removing all of them. So I now do more of seeing only people working out. So I remember, yes, I have to work out. So in like that's why they say in life, we're in a particular challenge. You surround yourself with people who are in like minds with you. So even in weight loss. I don't expect myself to be going out with people who love eating junks now. Yeah, I'm in a, a phase in my life. I want to try and prioritize eating healthy. I have to remove myself from that. I remember the friend, he told me some years ago, let me bring up a story. He told me then he and his wife were married for like some years, going to 10 years. They had no child and they were believing God for a child. So he said that. Then I had friends that were telling him that ah, he has to have a child, he has to think out of the box, he has to do what he has to do as a man. He said that he overlooked it, thinking, oh, these are my good friends, or my childhood friends, or my university friends. He said that the next thing, because them, they all had children. He said that one day when they went out, they now set him up with a woman. He was just, they all went for something. He did not specify what it was. He said that in the night, someone knocked at his hotel room door. He saw a young lady. <laughs> He was wondering who told her to come in. And she said, she now called one of his friend's name. He said, why? So he said he didn't want to start making noise or opera or anything in the hotel. He said, why? He told her to sit down. Because he said the room he had was like this. He rented a room that has, he paid for a room that has this parlor and the room. So he told her to stay in the parlor. He locked his door, he was in his room. He said in that time he was thinking. He now said, it's high time. I cut these friends out because we are not more in the same category. We all have children I don't have. They're trying to help me, but this is not the kind of help I need. Maybe he said he wanted them. Maybe if they could pray for him or believe God for him, but not setting him up with a woman for him to sleep with another woman to get pregnant for him because his wife too. At the end of the day, it's going to destroy his marriage. It's going to destroy the love and trust that his wife has for him. So he told me that that was a time he made up his mind that I think it's high time to end this friendship. I have to put a hold on all this. He said and gradually he said cutting off all these friends. He cut all those friends out. Then he said he had to go and make new friends. The new friends were like, okay, friends with similar issues. He said that he knew he had like four or five new friends that they were all either they were believing God for children, they were um, childless. So they were all in the same category. They were all having an expectation of something they wanted. So they all became friends and they said, believe in God. 
and um, doing what they were meant to do. Like he quite right, some did IVF, some did natural birth, but at least they were all in the same space. That they all did the same thing because they were all in the same thing. That's what therapy is all about. Like some people that go for therapy, they put you people with similar issues together. So he said they put here and here and he now had new friends. He said when he had new friends, they said praying together, they said believing God together, reading information together, sharing stories together to encourage each other. And with time, he had his twins. He said the other one had their child. Everybody know, I don't know how they all had their children, but in the circle of years, one of three years, they all had children. So that's why in life with that, there's a time you get. Hmm? You need to re-evaluate re people around you in your space. You can't tell me that you want to live, you want to have go have lose weight and be healthy. I keep on friends who eat junks and late night and people encouraging you to drink and do things. It's time you reprioritize your friends and make new ones. If you are good, I'm not saying you should cut them off for life, but maybe you just give them that space to go to the ones that will help you get to that goal. I, I do that a lot. Like when I was in school, I had different types of friends. If it's time for me to read, I know the friends I'm going to meet to go and read with. If it's time for me to gist, I know the kind of friends to go there. And if it's time for us to discuss business and strategize how to make money, I have my friends. So you always have people who are in similar issues with you. When, you, like me now, I've made friends already that will tell ourselves how to lose weight how that we have to look this how we have to launch so all of us will be discussing this weight loss encouraging ourselves we can achieve it i watch even people do it i'll be following people people watch me i'm following so i'm meant to encourage you you encourage me this is what it's all about so when you're in a particular stage in your life you look for people who are in similar problems with you it's better you guys will battle it together or you people who have solutions and ideas to exchange on what to do so it's not that you should cut off those ones. You can give those ones space. And if those ones don't want to understand, cut them off. It's very necessary. You give the cut them off. I must not be your friend at that particular time. There's someone I read today. A man said that his friend, one of his friends who was single, who does not understand what is marriage, called him. He was watching plate. And he said as he was watching plate, his phone called. He had a call. He answered the call. And the friend is picked up and said, ah, what are you doing? He said, I'm watching play. He said, where's your wife? He said, he dropped the call. Oh, that one does not understand that. In marriage, it's all about partnership, understanding, help each other. Your wife is not a slave or something. But he just asked him, where's your wife? So that means your wife must want to be the one to wash in the place. He now said he doesn't even need that. He said he just caught the friend and threw him away. So some people now say, you would not have caught him and thrown him. You'd have called him. You'd have lectured him to be aware. This is what marriage is all about. But him... He was just in that time that I don't just need people like this around me. I don't need any negative vibes. I don't need people that are toxic around me. So he just decided to cut the friend away. Maybe that he thinks that's the way that's healthy for him to do that. So he just cut the friend away. So he just doesn't need that kind of people around him. So sometimes when we need to achieve some things in life, we need to let some things go. Like me. When my losing weight i have problem with white bread i'm a lover of white bread i eat white bread i don't have the control so because of that we stopped buying white bread for everybody in the house my husband my children nobody eats white bread again so we had to cut it off it's not that because if they buy it one day i might sneak in and i eat it because of the control is not there so the best thing we cut it off we don't buy it we now buy everybody start eating wheat bread which is healthy so everybody eats they were healthy together so because of maybe I cannot control myself, so maybe I now cut it out totally, totally like nobody is eating it. We're all in this together. So that's how it's meant to be. Things you cannot control, you cut it off. Easy of you to say, okay, I have, I'm a superwoman, I'm a superwoman, I can still do it. No, just cut it off. 2024, cut it off. Anything you cannot stand, cut it off. Be it in food, be it in your health, be it in your friendship, your spiritual life. Anything that wants to be a stress, cut it off. In this weight loss journey, anything, cut it off. 
anything that you know is a distraction, whether food is a distraction, cut it off. If you used to go to that particular place that you know that you don't have self-control, cut it off. If you know that you buy this ice cream and you'll be looking at it, don't buy, cut it off. If you know that you eat white bread, refined food too much that you cannot cut it off for you to achieve what you want. So for me to achieve this journey, I had to cut white bread off. I don't even buy it. Soft one. Soon, if you eat this bread, very lovely. But I have to just cut it off. We don't buy it anymore. So, and now we don't buy, just cut the number of refined foods we have. So, it's not better that we do, okay, we say, okay, my children will eat it there. So, let them all be healthy together. We're all doing the healthy lifestyle together. It's good for everybody. So, I cut it off. I cut buying white bread. So everybody's not eating wheat bread. So, it's the same thing with life. As we're on this, our weight loss journey, please, anything that will be an obstruction, cut off. Any friend that will be an obstruction, cut off. Any food, cut off. Anything that is not what it's called of. Unhealthy relationship, cut off. Anything unhealthy around you, I don't know what it is. In any way, in any form, cut off. Let's achieve our healthy body. Achieve healthy living. Have a good relationship with your inner self. Be healthy. Stay healthy. Live healthy. Because the main thing, the focus is getting older, getting strong, getting purposeful, and achieving our dreams. Thank you very much for watching. Watch me out on this my two, week, two weeks mini shepherd challenge. See me sweating. I'm sweating. It's really worked. Thank you for the encouragement. Please watch me, subscribe, and wait for my next video. Thank you very much. Bye.